hello what's up youtube photographer ronnie sweet and a tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you why your mixer brush tool may not be working well every single time you try to use it in frequency separation so this is for those that have issues using the mixer brush tool every single time they are trying to retouch images using frequency separation and if at all you haven't hit the like button on this video i have a request that you hit the like button because when you hit on the like button and when you like the video youtube recommends the video to many people out there and it helps the channel to be discovered and it helps the channel grow in the long run so let's just kick in with this for a tutorial so right now i'm just going to come and i play my frequency separation action you can say i have a 16-bit image right here so i'm just going to come and i'm going to play my frequency separation action and for those that don't have my actions make sure you support the channel by purchasing my retouching essentials pack that is going to help you speed up your retouching process within photoshop so i'm just going to play my frequency separation action so usually for this portrait because i retouched it and i know the radius i used i'm just going to use the radius of seven and it's going to continue playing right here so right now i just want to go straight into the most important emphasis for this first tutorial that is those that have issues using the mixer brush tool so i'll give you the different instance where by your mixer batch tool may not be working so for settings i'm just going to go through through rather those settings so for settings i tend to use the hardness of zero after se selecting my mixer brush tool so this is not the brush tool it is the mixer brush tool and if at all you have an older version of photoshop you may find your mixer brush tool below here so make sure the hardness is at zero percent and make sure it is clean right here and make sure this option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected or highlighted the weight we are going to be using is nine percent the load of 75 the mix of 90 and the flow of 100 percent so the very instance whereby your mixer brush tool may not be working is because first of all your caps lock key is turned on so if at all your mixer brush tool is not showing as a circle in your photoshop make sure that you press the caps lock key and you remove this cross icon and you have the circle right there so the second incident whereby your mixer brush tool may not be working quite well or well is because after selecting the low frequency layer you come and you turn on sample earlier so make sure the mistake is right on this option if i told you want to retouch and you have selected the mixer brush tool and the low frequency layer and you turn on sample earlier it means that this layer that contains only the colors or skin tones is also going to be affected by textures meaning the brush right now we are using is going to sample information from all the layers within your frequency separation including the layer that has the textures in it so for example if at all i slightly zoom in and i start blending you can see it is not working well and is creating that annoying texture within the skin just look at that annoying skin texture it means that the brush is also copying the textures and painting them back in our color layer which we don't want so always make sure that uh, your setting right here in sample all layers make sure it is turned off so that you can only work with the colors in the low frequency meaning the brush is working independently alongside the low frequency layer that has only the colors so when you start retouching your image just come and turn this off so that you can start blending the colors just like that so just mix colors that are looking alike and you'll be blending them just look at how it is now working in real time and uh creating or blending the transitions within the skin of our model right here so that is the second instance whereby your mixer brush tool may not work well so after retouching just turn on the texture and you can see the before and after and the mixer brush tool has now worked well for us the very or the third instance whereby the mixer brush tool may not work for you as you're trying to retouch your image is going to be retouching or selecting a wrong layer for your skin retouching for example if i told you select the high frequency layer and you start painting on the image it means that the image is going to be 
flat remember this brush is going to be wet so everywhere it is going to be finding textures it's going to be blurring out those textures in the image you can see we have selected a wrong layer that is why when you are painting on the textures in this image the brush is going to be making our image look so plastic and blurry because the brush we are using is wet and it's going to be blurring or hiding the textures that belong in the high frequency layer so make sure that every single time you're working on uh, your images or when you select the mixer brush tool always make sure that you have chosen the right layer to uh, retouch on so make sure always when you're using a mixer brush tool you select the low frequency layer and not any other layer within your frequency separation group so those are the instances whereby your mixer brush tool may not be working so the other thing that may really affect your mixer brush tool or the results when you're using the mixer brush tool is when you use a slightly bigger mixer brush tool than the area that you're trying to work on so you can see if at all you want to work on this area you can't use a big mixer brush tool to work on uh, such an area it means that your results are going to look a little bit weird or awkward you can see it is going to look a little bit awkward and it may lose out on the colors because a big brush is going to spill colors that or it is going to spill those colors in areas where they don't belong so always make sure that when you're working on your photos or on your images when you're using the mr brush tool always ensure that it is a reasonable size and you can play around with different sizes of your mr brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard and that is going to help you gauge whichever area that you're trying to work on when you're doing your frequency separation so basically these are the four instances whereby your mixer brush tool may not be working well for you as you're trying to edit or retouch your images in photoshop using frequency separation so if at all you check all the boxes and you do everything right like i've shown you in this tutorial you are going to be having a very nicely retouched image so the other thing that i've forgotten to mention right now is always make sure you use the mixer brush tool from a distance and don't zoom all the way in the reason for this is because when you're using the mixer brush tool we want to see the colors or we want to look at the colors in every single area that doesn't have a nice blend so retouch at a distance and don't zoom all the way in and with this you can be guaranteed of a very nicely retouched image after using the mixer brush tool so this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have really found this helpful the request is hit the like button and also subscribe this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials to come and don't forget keep practicing and keep creating